Alrighty, welcome back to another Fusion 360 tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you some techniques to make a GoPro mount. And some challenges with a GoPro mount is, uh, I'd say the one of the hardest things is to get some good lens protection without seeing that in the camera view. It's a challenge also to get a nice fit. So I wish that I could tell you, you know, the exact dimension that works but um, printers print out differently. And so there's gonna be some trial and error involved in this. For mounting this to the quad, I like, there, you can buy these little M3 washers and actually underneath that is a bushing, a metal bushing. That way you get a real snug, you get a real snug fit. Your top plate is, instead of your hardware just pinching down on the TPU, it's actually, uh, the force is going through that bushing. So the first thing I'll do is just measure out the rough dimensions on a GoPro. And so I'm going side to side, I'm getting 62.28. So let's put that on a sketch. All right, so now let's pull this up into the third dimension. And for that we need 24.25 so for the lens I've got 28.67 top to bottom so let's put a square on this I don't know why I drew it out in lines before so top to bottom I just want to double check 28.7 have to go over side to side 31.9 uh, to measure this depth I don't know if you know on calipers but there's a little indicator on the back side where you can measure stuff like this so we'll set that up 8.24 all right so there is the rough shape of the GoPro so if you we can shell this real quick with this tool. So select these two faces, and that's if you want this to load from the side, which most uh, hero mounts loaded from the side somehow. Um, select the two faces on the outside that you want the opening, and then you're gonna click shell, and then we're gonna select uh, outside dimension. So now we should be able to drag this out and th the thickness of my mounts are typically three and a half millimeters thick. Usually we're all run them. All right, so now we have the basic shape. So real quick, we can come in here and round out these corners and then your lens will fit a little better. There won't be a gap. So around these guys. Say about like that. We can adjust this after the fact, but let's cut this hole. Let's cut this hole out for now. Don't need that anymore. Um, extrude. There we are. All right, and then we'll round these corners up. That looks good. All right, so now we have the rough shape of the GoPro. Let's move on to uh, making where the base of this mount's gonna attach to the top plate. So an easy tool for that is um, in here in Create, there is Project. So if you click Project, um, now we can select this top plate, hit OK, and then that will include all that geometry right there. And now we can sketch on that. So let's draw a line across. We'll just end the back of the mount about right here. So select that face and then we can extrude this up and make sure we have new body selected there. And for the thickness of that, usually I'll run four millimeters. So from here, let's, let's add this GoPro on top of the, let's position it into Let's position this GoPro mount in the center of this and get the up tilt we want.
All right, so we've somewhat got it into position here, and this is where you can choose your the up tilt that you want to put this at. So let's click Move, and we will select a point here. At this this point, doesn't matter really where you're gonna set that. As you see, we can type in the degrees you want. So let's make this one 30 degrees, and now we can position this a little better. So things you got to look out for here is uh, it's nice. The mount is flexible, so you can always push this out of the way so that you can screw this hardware in. But uh, depending on your frame where these holes land, make sure you pay attention to that. And you can always come in after the fact and add a hole to make that a little easier. But I will usually run this guy up a little bit. And the reason is because um, uh, on my fr on my frame, the propellers won't hit, but when you when you uh, stomp on the throttle a little bit, the propellers will bend up, and sometimes they can hit this. So if you leave it low, then you can your propellers might hit that. So I think that looks good right there. Maybe a little farther forward. And okay, so before I go any farther, let me add those windows on the front there. I wanna create a sketch on this plane. There we go. So let's measure that again. I am getting 25.72. So I'll drag a line over here. Um, 25.72, hit enter, and then I will also drag a line down from the top. So I'm measuring from the top of the GoPro to the bottom of that screen. And I'm going to go a little past it just to give myself some room. I got 27.08, I'll just call it 27. So let's come down here, 27. And now we need to extend these lines. So I'm gonna draw these, this one out here. I'll draw this guy like that, and this guy like that. And then I can come back in here and trim these out that I don't need, or this one line, and that one, and that one. Oh, and I forgot one more dimension actually, so. I'm just gonna fast forward you guys through a lot of this. It's kind of unnecessary for you to watch it. All right, so we are getting close to complete here. Um, let's let's go ahead and connect these two bodies together. So I will usually draw a sketch on the side of this, and this is where I can we can put some curves on the side. So let's maybe come up here like that, and we'll put another one behind it. Good. All right, so now we've got some banana shapes here. I'm just gonna come back and close these in, and that will give us some shapes that we can extrude. Uh, move right over to solid, maybe not, to finish sketch. So now I can select these guys and extrude them through our mount here. 
So I'm just gonna bring these all the way over. About like that. And make sure that you create a new body. We don't want them to affect each other just yet. We still gotta modify them a little bit. All right, so we've extended past and there's some things here that I wanna get rid of in this shape. So first off, let's get rid of this excess right here. There's a couple commands to do that, but one way to do it real quick is to select this face because you see it extends past it extends past these guys in this direction and we can extrude this past here make sure that new body is selected you don't want to combine any of this stuff hit ok and then we can drag this up to get rid of those hit ok and actually little little pieces are sticking out but that's all right we can move this past it and now we can subtract those from each other. So we can hide this GoPro mount up here, which is in the tree, if, you can, if I can find it. So we'll hide that. And now we will cut this with extrude, and then that should get rid of everything on that side. So now we are good in that direction. And now I wanna come back and cut away at this guy right here. So, Let's use this geometry here. We'll go back into sketch. We'll put it on that. And we will project this face. So this is gonna put a sketch on this face of all the lines are included. Hit okay. And then now we can connect this guy right here. I think that'll work just from those two lines. Let's double check. Yeah, that'll work. Finish sketch. And then now we should be able to select this and drag this up to cut out. So now we've cut those into two pieces. That'll, that way we're not running into our FPV cam down there. Uh, hit OK and that looks good. And then we can bring back our GoPro again. All right, so there's still some a few more things to fix here see how uh, I've accidentally gone into this hole here into the hole and actually covered this up completely but that's not a problem we can fix that right now let's turn the GoPro layer off and let's turn off this top plate layer get that out of the way and now we can select these faces we click and hold shift this will cut holes right where we need them. Um, so that, that command is gonna work for over here. I'll be, I'm okay with that. But here, here's another way we can do this too. Make a new body, all right, and hit okay. And let's, let's put a little recess on these guys. So if you come back to the tops of these and we can select all these, and in the create menu we're gonna project again so we'll project we'll project these guys and that'll give us some center points to click on so now we can let me go to the top view I'm gonna eyeball what I'm gonna eyeball roughly the size of a m3 screw and I should have remembered that to mention so they all match so let's look at that again that's about 7.4. Let's just call it, let's see what 7 looks like. 7 looks good. I'm just going to repeat that on all these. 7. <clears throat> Alright, now we can come back here and select just these outside rings. And we can extrude those down to recess those holes a little bit. So we'll come in here to extrude and it's gonna cut those down. I'll just go into the base a tiny bit just so I know I've gone all the way. And that should work. Then I can come back to these guys and extrude out the holes again. 
right. That's looking a little better. All right, so now let's turn on our GoPro again. All right, well, I think at this point, you could actually bolt this on a quad and most likely slide a GoPro in there. Um, is this gonna be out of the camera's view? That is where, this is where you're going to have to do some trial and error. So you can go, you can spend some time and make this look fancy, but what I suggest is you leave this simple at first and print it out and make sure that your GoPro, that this isn't gonna be in your GoPro's frame when you, uh, when you go to record. So leave this, I, I, this, is how, this is how I'd leave this to test it out. Um, otherwise, it, it sucks. I've, I've freaking done it. I've had to throw away GoPros where I've spent, you know, a couple hours, um, where I've spent a couple hours making it look all, put some cool shapes on there, and then I go to put it on, but I go to put the GoPro in there, and then I find out that the edge of the of the GoPro mounts in view. So definitely leave this stuff simple. The more that you refine this, you're you're gonna lose the ability to come in here and make a fine adjustments like that. So I'm just gonna come by and round out some of these corners, make it look a little nicer, and I'll just fast forward you guys through that. But if you like this video, definitely subscribe to the channel, and I can, uh, if you have suggestions, someone suggested to, for me to make a GoPro mount video, and uh, so that's what I'm doing. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.